Hi, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay, and today is going to be a little bit different of a style video because this is going to be actually, I think, my first Digimon TCG video here on the channel. We're going to be opening up the three starter decks that came out very recently, the purple, the green, and the black starter decks in the Digimon trading card game. I got to pick these up. They just came out today, I believe, on sale at my local game shop, and although I wasn't able to get a booster box as of yet, maybe getting one in the future... So uh, if you want to see that opening, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see that. All right, let's open up the green deck first because this is honestly the one that was just right in my hand anyway. So we might as well open this one. Now I will show you everything that's inside here, kind of the back of the starter decks for anyone who may not know because probably if you're watching this video, you're probably relatively new to Digimon and you're interested in picking some of this stuff up. But there's four types of cards that comes in this, as this is saying. It comes with Digimon cards, Digi Eggs, Option cards, Tamer cards. Absolutely beautiful. Now, a uh, nice 54 card deck is going to be in this. You get a Memory Gauge card and Index cards as well. And I'll kind of show you those Memory Gauge cards and those Index cards as well. Once I rip open to this like a freaking monkey on a cupcake as I am. Throw this over here put that over there so in this box this is how your thing is going to look there's two separate things this is going to be your booster pack that comes in every single theme deck highly encourage you know this is one of the reasons why the theme decks are so valuable is because you know not only is a lot of cards in digimon actually playable in some form or fashion but you get a booster pack in them and that's what kind of differs from pokemon uh, that Digimon does is it comes with a booster pack so it's a great way not only for new players to start playing with the uh, with the nice soul starter decks but also it's a really easy way to start collecting as well and building up your collection maybe you pull something crazy to uh, to show off to your friends to brag about to trade things like that and the first four cards at the bottom of the deck is very very interesting in my opinion i don't think pokemon does this they have a little booklet they don't have little cards but this is how digimon works these are cards about the game rules whether that's literally the game rules right here but also more game rules on the back kind of describing the different actions and stuff of the cards and then what does the card mean and what does your play mat mean and this is super interesting in my opinion because I think Digimon in general, whether that's the app, whether that's the community or the starter decks, does a really good job of teaching you how to play. And one of the cool things about the Digimon starter decks as well for anyone who may not know is it gives you a memory gauge like tablet thing. So in a game, you know, in IRL, you're probably only gonna need one of these, but in a webcam tournament, both players are probably gonna keep track of the memory of each player and this is instrumental to the game so getting some of these early and right off the bat in a variety of different colors you know buying the theme decks is huge in my opinion it is very very cool so without further ado let's go into the theme deck portion let's talk about each of the cards in the theme deck real quick this is going to be a little bit fast i'm not going to talk too much about each card specifically but i'm going to point out a couple cards that i like and i think are cool and you know maybe even some of my favorite digimon so we got motimon right here real cutie really protecting that blob right there absolutely adorable you can tell he's nervous though he's got the uh he's got the nice old sweat beads right there but you got your digi egg here this is the smallest form of digimon that you will have in the game they hatch from your hatch area and then you can digivolve on top of that to draw cards but you get a play set of motimons motimon very very cute into some floramons now the green digimon a lot of them are plants um as you will see in the digimon tcg now that's not always the case like tentomon here this is izzy's primary digimon i believe tentomon i remember tentomon in the anime the old old school anime when digimon was first around and first popular and uh, i like tentomon tentomon's a really cool digimon in my opinion but if you didn't if you weren't able to tell Motimon, your digi eggs are all level two. So when you have this and you have this in your hatch area, you can get a level three Digimon like Tentomon and put it on top of it to Digivolve. And then now this Digimon is a Tentomon. 
and there's a lot of strategy behind that through the inheritables or the small text at the bottom down here and a lot of different you know niche things that make digimon really interesting and exciting i like playing the digimon trading card game i'm not sure if i'm able to do a lot of playing but i do like to have fun i do like these starter decks and watching my buddies play as well i know gyroshawn actually runs a lot of tournaments um which may be why you know them honestly but uh we move into Togemon. Togemon, I, I'm sure I said that wrong, but, you know, the Digivolution of Palmon in the Digimon anime. Absolutely cute, astounding, gorgeous. I love Togemon, Togemon, Toesmon, Toesmon, ugh, Toes. But an absolutely wonderful cactus Digimon. I absolutely love it. I find it to be pretty funny. And then Kuwagamon. I like Kuwagamon a lot this and kabu terrymon also are some of my more favorite sinister digimons i guess you could say um in the digimon universe in the digimon realm but here we i look at that kabu terrymon now my twitch chat community likes to make fun of me whenever i see this digimon because when i see this digimon i always think kabu terriermon and so they're like jake would you think that looks like a terrier dog and i'm like no chat it's Kabu Terrier mod, and they're like, oh, Jake, oh, Jake, oh, Jake. So usually I would open these up with Twitch chat, but uh, this is going to be a special YouTube video because I wanted to try to make more unique YouTube content. So this will be really cool. We got a Lilimon right here. Now, uh, Lilimon is familiar to my veteran Digimon TCG collectors because this is the Digimon that was on Flower Cannon. Very, very good card in the green sphere of the Digimon trading card game. But moving into the Lilimon, you get a play set of those. A lot of these you're going to be getting four ofs in the Digimon trading card game, which is your, uh, which as I mentioned, is uh, a play set of them for your deck. You can have four of each card in your deck up to 54, I believe. This deck is 54 at least. We got Mega Kabu Terrier Mon right here. Starting off our rares. Absolutely stunning. I pulled two of them off right away so no i didn't get scammed in this starter deck we got a rosemon right here this is more of the full art-esque uh digimon cards this is a rare as well as you can see that r down in the corner but rosemon absolutely stunning card I, I, it's weird how she sees i guess maybe a sense of aromatherapy or something like that or aromatic senses i'm not 100 percent sure she must got a good nose but moving into some of the more stunning cards in the Digimon trading card game, we get Hercules Kabu Terrymon. Absolutely sinister. But just look at that rainbow shine. Absolutely stunning, in my opinion. I absolutely love these types of cards. I love glossy hollow patterns. And uh, even though there's not really hollow patterns like in Pokemon, you know, you got your reverse holo patterns and your holo patterns in Pokemon cards. Digimon is just a whole nother level, in my opinion, with their art and their holo patterns. Just absolutely stunning. With the two Hercules Kabuterimons that you get. And then you move on to your tamers or supporters, like I like to call them in my Pokemon realm. You get Izzy Izumi here. He's the main dude, as I mentioned earlier. And uh, that you may actually see later in this video in another color. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, Tamers and Digimon alike can be in multiple colors in the Digimon trading card game. They'll have different effects, though. And they'll have different powers. But still, it's kind of interesting to see Pokemon in different areas in different colors as well. Now we get into your option cards. This is cards that are not necessarily digimon that attack and things like that but are very interesting cards suspend one of your opponent's digimon with the cost of two i think this card is going to be pretty good in like a sarismon type build sarismon was one of the competitive decks that i was actually building and playing when i was more playing digimon tcg more often before i got super busy and swamped into other things now watching casually but i i mean that deck is all about having suspended pokemon on both sides and so this card is a very very good option card i think for that deck and with a memory cost of two i think this is a pretty i think that's a pretty nice card and you get a whole playset of it in this starter deck and then the final cards of the starter deck 
Electro Shocker. Return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. Trash all the Digivolution cards of that Digimon. So great, interesting flow with the needle spray attack now this does have a memory cost of five so it is a little bit more difficult to get off than let's say the needle spray but especially when a opponent attacks with their digimon and their digimon stay, stay suspended going into the next turn this electro shocker could be very very vital in just getting rid of a very oppressive something like an omnimon or something like that or you know any sort of digimon that is very very prevalent in the digimon trading card game and you get two of those for your deck and honestly as i like to say for your special cards that you like to hold near and dear to you i highly recommend getting some sleeves out for those cards to keep them protected you know if you want to sleeve up every single card go right ahead feel free sleeve every single card up it's your collection it's your cards you know you do what you want with them some people want to keep them perfect forever some people want to shuffle the heck out of them and play them and some people like me want to sleeve up their tamers because they really love the tamer cards i love i want to collect all the tamer cards in the different sets but now is the bread and butter the the beautiful part about the digimon starter decks in my opinion and that is the great legend digimon card game 12 card booster pack absolutely stunning bt04 very terrific and let's go ahead and open it up shall we see what's inside we'll see if we can beat the Lilithmon that I got, I'm trying to see if we can pull a better card than that, but the very bad card is a half of a memory gauge. So with those in these starter decks and the packs, you can mix and match the different colors of the uh, start of your memory gauges for when you play IRL, whether that's with a friend, whether that's in a tournament, things like that with your parents or your kids or whatever. But uh, it's just a very interesting... I really like the card game in this. I wish I could play it more often. But I will always appreciate the cards, whether that's in my, in my binder, in my hand, or even in a deck. We got Ditrimon here. Interesting Digimon. We got a Ly Lyomon? Lyomon, I think is how you say this Digimon's name. Hopefully I'm correct. We got Neo Devimon. So we've seen some Devimons in the past, and there's actually some Devimons as well in this series of the bt04 starter decks and this is just another one on that list another devimon for the purple that one being very powerful at the level five we got a toby Umon. nice old uh armored fish i guess what is that one little pouched fish thing is that like a cannon can he shoot that is that like a torpedo thing coming out we got tank dramata <laughs> There's a lot of tank Pokemon, I feel like, in Digimon. There are several tank Pokemon, and they're all just guns a-blazing, shooting off cannons, fireworks galore. Fourth of July coming up. We got a Hippo Gryphonemon. Hopefully, I said that right. I feel like I'm getting better at saying these Digimon names. Absolutely beautiful. We got a Dokunmon. Dokunmon? Dukunmon, I think that's probably how you say that. The most entertaining part that my Twitch community says, it's not getting the big pulls, it's watching me actually pronounce these Digimon names. I, I struggle so hard with it. Duh, it's, please don't make fun of me in the comments. But, Burning Greymon right here. We got a nice old Burning Greymon, very sinister and shooting off those cannons. We got a Piranimon. Piranamon, a nice piranha based Digimon. Lots of lots of sharp edges. Like good golly. And then we got a Baboongamon. I think that's how you say it. Baboongamon. You have to say, if you say this Digimon's name chat, you have to say Baboon. You have to say the boon. It can't just be Baboongamon. It has to be Baboon. That's the only way to say this Digimon's name. And then we move on to our special rares. We got War Growlmon right here. I remember Growlmon. I have actually some toys from when I was younger, some action figure-esque toys of Growlmon. So 
Very cool to see Graumon in the Digimon trading card game again. A nice iteration of him. And then we got Hell's Gate here as the final card of the pack. For six memory costs, delete one of your opponent's level six or higher Digimon. This is a really interesting card because level six Digimon are very, very prevalent. I believe Omnimon is either level six or level seven. I think it's a level six. But either way, if you get six or higher, they're very, very good Digimon and Digimon that you probably want to get rid of. So very, very interesting card if you can get this combo off. It looks like just, I usually haven't really been doing this with the Digimon, but it looks like this one is sort of miscut. It looks like it's a little bit up and to the right. I feel like there's more space down here at the bottom than the top than there really should be. And then a little bit more space down here on the left side than the right. And I haven't really had a problem up to this point with my Digimon cards in terms of the quality you know pokemon has some interesting quality control issues with their cards but digimon for the most part has been pretty good to me and i'm absolutely loving this starter deck but let's move on into the purple one now so you got your digi eggs here first this is how pokemon start off if you start them off at the lowest evolution per se your digi eggs get some pagumons in here and then you move on to your digimon so you evolve your level twos into your level threes here you got demi devimon here you get a whole play set of them four get some more gabumons i know there's a bunch of gabumon cards gabumon being one of the more popular digimons has some purples already as well drachmon in here i think this is the first time i've seen this digimon per se another place out of that you get a lekmon i believe there are different types of lekmon as well um because i believe there's a blue lekmon from the original set the very first set that came out and it's uh it's pretty different than this we got garurumon here very sinister garurumon moving into the level four still getting a place out of that the yokomon i hope hopefully yukomon yukomon hopefully i'm saying these names right my uh, Twitch chat will tell you that I am not the best at pronouncing things. We got Devimon here. Devimon, I actually love Devimon. Super, super sinister. Absolutely love that Digimon. Only two of those going into Kyukamon. Kyukamon, a very uh, slice and dice Digimon. But now we're into the level fives after that Digimon. Into Skull Satomon here we'll go around into the skull satumon getting five of those into the where garurumon now my longtime digimon players and tcg collectors will recognize where garurumon instantly because uh where garurumon was in the uh blue starter decks now this is where the real entertainment value comes in trying to really pronounce these names venom miostamon Miosti, Miotismon, Venom Miotismon. Sometimes you got to get a little bit confident in them, but you got two of those and then Seskarurumon. Absolutely. Right off the bat, you can see before we even pulled off the Venom Miotismon all the way, just see the pure beauty of this excellent rainbow in the Seskarurumon just absolutely stunning now i do recommend that when you open these cards up especially cards that you either like or are rare this is one of the more rarer cards that you can get in the digimon trading card game it's not really a common or uncommon it is the sr for the starter deck um but absolutely gorgeous absolutely terrific i got two of those right there and then you got your tamers in here these are like your trainers per se these are the characters in the uh digimon anime for anyone who doesn't know we get mats in this one you saw them on the box cover um and then moving into the option cards now the option cards are really interesting because the option cards um are not necessarily playable digimon on the field necessarily like we saw with a bunch of the other cards like kreskarurumon so very interesting that you can play these not any time but pretty much a lot of different situations you got nail bone right here you may play one purple digimon level three card and one digimon purple level four from your trash without paying their memory cost very very interesting so if you can get some level threes and some level fours 
um, in the discard whether they get knocked out via blocking this would be a really good way in my opinion of like chaining blockers but that seven that seven memory cost is very very big so um, it's it's probably one that you probably want to hit when it's in your uh, when it's in your security over there and that looks like it is going to be the end so like I said earlier once you're good and you got the cards that you want make sure you sleeve them up because you do want to protect these cards I'm not gonna be doing anything fancy for these sleeves because most of the sleeves that I have that are available are competitive sleeves so we're just gonna use some regular white dragon shield sleeves for the crest guru I always, I always love the white accents on a lot of these cards it actually actually looks pretty good usually so I'm super excited to be able to open these up I'll put them right next to each other right there and then I'll sort this out later off stream and then in these starter decks like I mentioned earlier comes a booster pack so great legend booster pack this is a, the new set that has come out you may have even seen I'll put that over there you may have even seen these packs specifically when you went to your local game shop or card shop or whatever and found the uh, the decks or even your local Walmarts and targets you can find booster packs and uh, starter decks as well now each of these packs comes with 12 cards in the booster 115 cards in total made by Bandai and uh, BT04 the English version so you know what let's just go ahead and open up the great legend pack if I can open it there we go let's open this bad boy up I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the uh, the wrapper because I like to keep like one wrapper of each kind of card pack that I open because I've opened up a lot of different cards here on the channel whether that is Pokemon Digimon we've even opened up Yu-Gi-Oh Magic the Gathering My Little Pony so a good variety of stuff in here but let's go into our first booster pack let's see if we can beat the alternate art Lilith Mon like I said earlier it's gonna be tough but you know what you never know we got Grap Leo Mon here and to be honest this is a complete surprise for me I don't know much about this set um aside that people are kind of excited about it so hopefully we can pull some good stuff you can usually tell when you pull something good atomic inferno right here we got a mikumon mikomon mikomon mikumon we got a devimon we've seen devimon before in our uh in our nice soul pack we got rega let oh my gosh what a mouthful rega reg rega le kusman rega le kusman that's what i'm gonna call you i don't know if that's your actual name but Leomon, Leomon stealing away this old Patamon right here. Or maybe Patamon with Leomon trying to escape from that big giant Digimon over there. Leomon actually protecting the Patamon. But Patamon, I actually love Patamon. If you didn't see over here, I've actually got a Patamon plush from way, way back in the day. And there's a Vmon right behind it. Um, I've had those ever since I was a kid, and I absolutely think they're stunning. We got Purge Shine right here. All of your opponent's Digimon get negative 3,000 DP for the turn. All of them, not just a single one. We got Piranimon. Very sinister with those teeth. Anubismon. I actually like Anubismon a lot. Very beautiful. I'm a huge fan of, like, Egyptian and Greek culture I think it's fascinating with the different gods and goddesses that people used to worship and such so I know Anubis a lot and uh I absolutely find this card to be stunning with the pyramid in the background and the blue accents of the light shining on it we got a seals Dramon, very sinister metal Pokemon usually the black Digimon uh the black cards are I've noticed a lot of them are like metal cards we get a tamer in this pack we get an izzy and then a kari we get a nice old kari another tamer in this pack absolutely beautiful another one of our rares you get several rares in each pack this is the second one izzy being the other one and then in the very very back you get another one of these memory gauges um kind of like i showed you earlier that kind of has like a checklist um if you can see a nice old checklist about the set and some of the different cards and honestly if you really want to you could just collect all these 
Now I'm gonna sleeve up the tamers as well because for anyone who doesn't know from my Digimon or my Pokemon collecting, I'm sorry, I'm a huge fan of supporters, especially full art supporters, the characters, the human characters in the Pokemon trading card game. So collecting these Digimon characters as well is actually something I really, really like as well. I love the personalities and the characters themselves, but let's move on to the next starter deck. And now as we move on to the last deck, the Thai, I always mess up with his name. It's like Kamiya, Kam Kamiya? Chad, please don't make fun of me in the comments. Please be nice. I, uh, I, I'm just getting back into Digimon with the Digimon card game coming out i actually forgot to keep the others up here like i have right now throughout all my openings of whatever it is we're opening i usually like to try to put my favorite cards my hits almost as you could say in the uh top portion of the section the uh the poggers pulls as i like to call them sometimes because for those of you that don't know i do stream on twitch we stream openings on twitch we stream uh pokemon stuff we do some digimon here in the near future as well for all my digimon fans out there and uh we do that live at twitch.tv slash atrocious gameplay would love to see it if you want a true schedule make sure to go check out the discord server that is in the link below you can share your digimon polls with a lot of other people we do have a digimon specific channel where people can talk digimon and people honestly do all the time I got a lot of Digimon players in my Discord server um, that are really excited about this set that's going on right now as well. So let's get rid of these four cards. We got rid of them earlier with the other starter deck. So let's just go into this one. Let's knock this out. We got Kapu Rimon for our Digi Egg. We've seen this Digimon before in previous sets. I believe it was a purple in the previous, one of the two previous sets in the digimon trading card game getting four of those we got a jazamon right here tell me that this isn't corviknight chat i'll wait pretty sure this is corviknight let me know down in the comments though what your favorite digimon is out of this haul and uh hopefully hopefully we can maybe pull a card of your favorite digimon we got an agumon here agumon the star of the show Usually when people are talking and, and making jokes about Pokemon, they say like, oh, my favorite Pokemon is Agumon. And you're like, oh boy, here we go again. But we got the boy right here, Agumon, the little dinosaur dude. And then Toy Agumon. So I'm going back to back Agumons in here. This is very uh, Lego-esque, I would say, Toy Agumon. It, it literally just looks like Legos. Looks like Lego building blocks with a little sticker for an eyeball, but... You know what? I'm not going to try to I'm not going to try to fight it. If Lego wants to chase Digimon for Toy Agumon, so be it, but oh boy, we got Commandramon, very military-esque Digimon in the black category. We've seen it earlier in previous packs, you know, the tank Digimon, but um yeah, but very military-esque uh Digimon as the black ones are in my opinion. We got Greymon. This is basically the Charizard of digimon graymon right here absolutely sinister look at that purple everywhere and that yellow eye just staring at you super super scary absolutely love it to be honest i love the different arts in this set there's some really good one we got a ja ja jazardmon i could have sworn we got a different jazardmon earlier but maybe i'm just going crazy i'm not 100 percent sure but we'll just keep moving on very uh flying through the sky hopefully very fast and uh, whoa dark tyrannomon look at that art like look at the detail on that from the fire and the crackles of the fire to the blood dripping from its claws is this even a kid's card game i don't even know but dark tyrannomon we've seen dark tyrannomon i believe in the previous starter deck i think it was in the original starter decks the red one I knew I know it's a red card, but I'm trying to recall if it's a uh, if it's a uh, a uh, starter deck or just a pack from the uh, from the set. We got Metal Greymon, absolutely sinister right there. One of your Digimon at the end of your until the end of your opponent's next turn. One of your Digimon gains Blocker. Blocker is a very good uh, Digimon ability per se. 
of the Digimon card game. Blocker, very, very good to prevent your opponent from taking security, which is a way to win the game, taking all the security and striking without any of that. We got Metal Tyranimon. So you thought Dark Tyranimon was sinister. Look at this dude. This dude, no offense to Metal Tyranimon, but you ugly. You ugly. I'm just going to say it, Chad. I know you were all thinking it. I'm just going to say it. I know Metal Tyranimon probably can't help it. It's just trying its best. But Mega Dramon is way cooler, in my opinion. It's like a flying snake. It's a flying superior snake thing with rocket hand claws. Very, very cool, in my personal opinion. I don't know where I was going with that. We got Machine Dramon for one of our full art esque cards i just call it full art because that's what it reminds me of from the pokemon trading card game and uh, honestly they're my favorite types of digimon well i don't know i really like the alternate arts of some of the digimon those are really really cool but let's move on into the next card and our shiny card blitz graymon i absolutely love this i said this in a previous starter deck but i love like war graymon blitz graymon um very cool Digimon that I actually loved growing up when I was big into Digimon, watching Digimon a lot more than I do now. I need to get back into watching Digimon. But Blitz Greymon, very, very cool. I had no idea that this was like one of the main cards in the starter deck for Black. So this is a really, really sweet surprise. I absolutely love this card. This is a sweet card. I think the red really shines well with the blue outlines and the blue lasers moving into the rainbow just digimon is top notch in terms of their art in my opinion digimon is absolutely top notch and i absolutely love it love 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 this and Ty kamiya we've gotten a tie in black before in the first two sets of the digimon trading card game but i believe this is a different pose by Ty, so that's how you can kind of indicate as well that this is a different tie card, especially when you're in a battle with an opponent, whether that's over webcam or IRL. So I'm gonna be saving one of those ties to be able to sleeve up for the binder later. And we move into the option cards. We got laser eye right here. Trigger Digi, or I'm sorry, Trigger D Digivolve, one of up to two of your opponent's Digimon. Trash a card from the top of your opponent's Digimon. This is very interesting in my personal opinion because for four memory cards, which isn't that bad, you can basically destroy an Omnimon and put it in the dead pile, the discard pile, whatever they call it in Digimon. I'm not 100% sure. I like calling it discard pile because that's Pokemon. And you can do that for up to two Pokemon. So for four knocking out two poke or Digimon that could be like level sevens or level six, absolutely bonkers in my opinion very very good card and getting a play set of them and then with dark side attack delete one of your opponent's digimon with the play cost of seven or less so this is very interesting in terms of the memory i believe if you were to look at this um in terms of in terms of the ruling if i had to take a guess i would say that they are going to take the memory cost from the top one the play cost right here as this says for anyone who may be newer to digimon so always go off of that number try not to go off of the digivolve cost because they are two different costs at the end of the day and getting two of those we get into our memory gauge and now for the final pack of the video we've kind of whiffed almost oh and two i mean we did get a Kari, a nice purple background Kari, which I actually really, really love. I think this is like almost considered almost like a full art supporter per se. Absolutely love that we got this card. But chat, does it beat an alternate art Lilithmon? I must have the luck of purple actually now looking at this because look at that. Just two purple cards right there. I must have purple luck in my opinion. I did as well pull from our booster box a uh a alternate art sarasmon so that is green so not the same thing as the purple but you know what I, I you get what i mean with the purple but let's go into this here we got toby umon we've seen that digimon before in this we got blimpmon just a balloon chat a nice a nice old balloon in here we got falcomon nice old bird 
Look, looking like something from Legend of Zelda, to be honest, in my opinion. We got Atomic Inferno. I think we've opened up this card actually already. We've opened up this one. This is Dukun Mon here. I remember I said its name wrong the first time. You see a nice old Tentamon in the back room being like, hmm, can I have a leaf two? Can I have a leaf two, please? But moving on into the rest of the pack, got Gaiogamon. Maybe, hopefully, probably not, but close. Hippogryphonomon. There's no extra O in there. Hippogryphonomon. Hopefully, I'm not making any Digimon players twitch, but we got a Piranimon in here. Absolutely scary. I think we've gotten one in every single pack. Now, Piranimon. We got a Bukamon. Very, very cute, the Bukumon surfing on the US of A or whatever the Digimon world is in. We got a Bushi Agumon. Very, very, uh, very, very ninja y Agumon version. This is very, uh, this is very ninja. This is not someone who you probably want to get in a fight with because just like the TikTok uh, anime fight memes say, the quiet Digimon that doesn't look like they're going to beat you up is probably the one that's going to beat you up. And look at that. We got another kind of full art supporter Digimon I like to call with the full color. We got Yoshino Fujita. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the last name, but that's what I'm going to go with. We got Yoshino here. Absolutely stunning. Did not have this card. Did not come in the green starter deck. So absolutely love being able to pull this card right here. We got one more card in the back. Let's see what it is. And we're going to be ending off with a Marin Chimaramon. Digimon, why do you always got to be so hard on those pronunciations? But we'll go ahead. We'll sleeve these cards up real quick before we end the video. And that is going to be all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you also to the music of this. This is the Lo-Fi Girl station on Spotify. The playlist that they have. Absolutely love the Lo-Fi Girl. Not an advertisement. I do need to say their name in the description because I'm using their music. But I absolutely love their music. So I'm happy to promote it as they say. No big, big hits today. But here's the thing, chat. A normal Digimon content creator, opener, collector may be a little bit upset that they didn't get any hits out of their three packs. But honestly, I had a terrific time opening these. I got a bunch of cards that I did not have before in different arts of Digimon. And so that to me is all worth the while because I just love the cards. I just love the game. And you know what? I'd love to see you get into it too. Make sure to, if you have any questions to just let me know. You're seeing here over on the right a couple other videos that I got. And maybe that subscribe button right there if you click my uh, channel logo. Uh, if you think uh, you maybe want to come back. I, I don't know. I mean, it's up to you. And uh, I don't know why I just keep punching my hand here. I, this, is a, this is a mechanism that I use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and let me know what your favorite Digimon is. Because this is our first Digimon video. So why wouldn't I say that?